Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Valentine Green and William Steinitz that was played in London in 1862. Green had white pieces and he started with e4. Steinitz played c5 and it looks like Sicilian, but it wasn't to be. After knight to f3, black played e6 and if white played d4, we would have pawn takes pawn and knight takes on d4, Sicilian defense. But white played a knight to c3 and black responded with d5 and we have French defense. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn and d4. Bishop to e6, bishop to b5 check, knight to c6 blocking and white castled kingside. Knight to f6, rook to e1, placing rook on open file, bishop to e7, bishop to e3 and instead of castling, black immediately attacked bishop on e3. White captured pawn on c5 and black captured bishop. Pawn takes knight and black recaptured pawn on c5. Uh, let's have a good look at this position. White has a weakness and that is pawn on e3. Black has a weakness too that is pawn on d5. But black has also a bishop pair. But not for long. White decided to kill one of the bishops. First he is threatening to capture knight on c6. Queen to d6 and now he captured bishop. Pawn takes knight and queen to g4 attacking pawn on g7. But Steinitz solved the problem easily by castling kingside. Bishop captured knight, pawn takes bishop and uh, let's have a good look at this position again. White was worried about his king because king is on the same diagonal with black bishop. So he played king to h1. But now Steinitz spotted immediately the next move and that is rook to f2. King is no longer protecting f2. Not only that rook is now attacking pawn on c2, but rook is dangerously close to white king. White even didn't bother to protect that pawn on c2. He played rook from a to d1. Steinitz doubled rooks on a file and at this stage white got worried about checkmate on the first rank so he created some room for his king to escape. Black played queen to e5. Have a good look at this position. Why did black play queen to e5? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the purpose of this move. Ready? The idea is to place bishop on d6 and to deliver checkmate on h2. Very simple, isn't it? White is fighting back with e4 and now h5 attacking queen and queen hasn't got many places to go. Queen to h4, bishop to d6, that is checkmate on h2. g3, d4 attacking knight and where is knight going? What would happen if knight goes to a4 for example? 
then we could have this continuation g5 and there is a big problem now because if queen takes on h5 then there is this continuation check and after king takes check and checkmate in the game knight to e2 was played knight is protecting pawn on g3 it is black to move if you wish you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that black played in this position are you ready what black wants to do he wants to deflect queen from protecting of that pawn so if you have seen this move well done that is also winning because if bishop to e7 where is queen going if queen takes bishop then there is check and checkmate in the game Stanis played g5 he does the same job as bishop to e7 it's deflecting queen white captured on h5 queen takes on e4 check king to g1 and queen to g2 check mate what a beautiful attack by Steinitz. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.